equals three studios. Ready? Ready. Okay. One, two, three, release. release. Got it? Okay, three okay. fingers. One, One two, two, three, three release. Release. All right, try it. Okay. One, two, three, release. Close enough. Fuck. So, it was a very wise man who once said, move, bitch, get out the way. Get out the way, bitch, get out the way. Where is Ludacris when you need him? Mine, mine. Oh, yeah. Mike, Mike! That soldier just yelled make way after the dude already got run over. Mike, Mike! Yeah, super effective. That soldier needs to work on his timing, especially if he's allowed to use a gun. Ready, aim, fire! Okay, that is clearly the Royal Guard's fault. And it's a simple fix, you know, just yell before you run someone over or carry a boombox. Move, bitch, get out the way. Get out the way, bitch, get out the way. But to be fair, that tourist needs to learn a little thing called spatial awareness. Like if everyone is lining up to the other side of the road, it's probably for a reason, this reason. Bye, bye! This was actually posted back in June and got about 9.6 million views because abuse of power never gets old. Am I right? <laughs> and hey, I'm just happy it was a white dude pushing another white dude. Otherwise, we'd have a whole different video, you know what I'm saying? Actually, on a more serious note, KTLA news reporter Wendy Birch was doing a live broadcast in downtown LA when she got bombed. Video bomb! <laughs> The committee is also looking at Paris, they're looking at Rome, and they're looking at Hamburg, Germany for 2024. And it's likely one of those international cities might. No! <laughs> scared the shit. We're working here, man. What are you doing? Oh my God. Back <laughs> to you. Got him. I love that Wendy gets scared when she sees him, and then he gets surprised that she got scared. Like she's the fucking weirdo. And his casual hair sniff was totally normal. And I say casual because of the clearly relaxed arm placement. Friday, casual Friday. Yeah! And this was actually posted back on July 28th, got about a million views, probably because Wendy's reaction was so fucking hilarious. <laughs> and that arm, no! Yeah! It's a tad over the top. I mean, he was just casually standing there. It's not like he said, boom! <laughs> or, <laughs> black man. <laughs> this ah. Wendy was a good sport about it. She knows this is just what happens when you're on the street. Or when your camera guy doesn't have your back. You can see the guy approaching from far away. Where was the warning, bro? A casual move bitch would have worked. These people need more ludicrous in their lives. Hey, if you're watching this and you can't decide whether to be a baseball player or a ninja, I say, why limit yourself? So apparently, this guy is a Japanese high school baseball player. And a samurai. And a break dancer? Fuck it, I would watch American Baseball if it were like this. Y'all would too. It got 9.8 million views in less than a week. We clearly want less hitting balls and more hitting poses. I love those nunchuck bat skills, but is that just normal? I mean, no one seems to care. And I can't see the picture, but I'm pretty sure they're having a dance off. Not the music I would have chosen for my baseball dance off, but fucking rocked it. And the funny thing is, with all those ninja dance moves, you're kind of expecting him to hit a home run. Have you seen Jackie Chan hit a baseball? Me neither. I mean, I don't think he plays, but you know he would kill it. So it's a little disappointing when he's <laughs> terrible at baseball. <laughs> you know what position he'd be good for? The mascot. He's got great flexibility, terrible spatial awareness, like this guy. <laughs> Bye-bye! That's my time. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see the full videos, the links are in the description below. If you have a viral video you want me to review, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, put it in the comments. I'm Kaji Martin, and I approve this message. One, two, three, release. Close enough. Yeah, yes!
as you can probably tell, I am not in the States anymore. If you can read this language, you know that I'm in Germany. If you know exactly where I am because of all these clues, put it in the comments. My question today comes from Caroline. Question is, what kind of books do you like or what, what are some books that you like? I love reading, I love books, always have, always will. Super nerd with these glasses. Uh, fiction, sci-fi, graphic novels, V for Vendetta, um, Why the Last Man, Saga, Ender's Game, Dune, just everything. But my favorite, favorite, favorite book is The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho. He's a Brazilian novelist. That book is so incredible. You have to read it. If there's nothing else that you ever get from me in the world, you will read that book. That's it. Just read it. It's so incredible. It, it literally changed my life. Um, so if you have any other questions, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Peace, yos. Thank you for watching this Equals 3 Studios production. To watch another episode, click here. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And now, I sleep.